when we, we think of the goal, like, okay, what's this goal we're after, this happiness, fulfillment, content, so on, we paint it as this supernatural, like, I'm happy all the time and on clouds all the time. Like, it's old school, you could say, enlightenment conditioning. Where it's like, you're never lazy, you always feel inspired and motivated. Is that the case? No. Is there times where I still get mad? Of course. Angry? Of course. Where I procrastinate? Of course. Where I'm lazy? Of course. Come up with excuses? Of course. Okay, where I make mistakes? Of course. But what's the goal? It's more like this, I'm okay and I'm loving all of it. You know, you can think of, for a lot of us who place the bar so high, it's like, I must reach this point and only then does what I want match reality. And what we're doing in this work is, no, it's fine if you're up there, but if you're down there, be with it. There's always the match, and that's like the ups and downs that add the contrast to life, that makes life interesting, that makes it amazing, but there's not that same suffering, if you will. You know, another way of viewing it is, for a lot of people, you know, you're swung back and forth. There's things that you've labeled as acceptable to say feel, and stuff that's unacceptable. And most people, it's, like, it's that whole Buddhism attachment resistance, where it's like, yay, and then you feel sad, you're like, fuck, yay, oh, I feel angry, fuck, like that. And it's like this constant back and forth. Um, someone who goes into deep apathy, or, or like somebody said, you start numbing yourself, if someone's like, you know what, fuck this, right? I'd rather just not feel. Sure, I won't feel super happy, but hey, at least I won't feel super bad as well. I'd rather just be numb and just live in this like, ugh, resisting all state, okay? Um, but that doesn't get you what you're after, okay? By resisting all, you actually feel worse within, more disconnected within. You get completely out of touch with your needs, your wants. Ask someone apathy, what do you want? It's like, oh, I don't know, they're, they're just lost, they're drained. Why? Because there's all that energy resisting. Someone who's in apathy is still feeling a lot, they just placed out of their awareness, okay? The way out of this state of suffering, because it is suffering, is not by resisting everything, it's by embracing everything, right? And that's the thing, it's like the, the goal here is the more you do this work, the more you change your relationship with all those things. So say you experience sadness. Does anyone here want to experience some sadness? Everyone's like, oh, fuck no, they all label it as unacceptable, right? And that's why when we experience sadness, we feel bad about feeling sad. We feel bad about feeling bad, and then we feel bad about feeling bad about feeling bad. Imagine, this is the thought experiment, you were raised in a society where from the moment you're born, like an alternate universe, from the moment you're born, they're telling you, hey, feeling sad is the best. And you go on YouTube and there's all these how to feel sad, how to, you know, it's like, you just gotta feel sad, that's the best state to be in, that's when you're the most attractive, that's when you're the most successful, you gotta be sad. What would happen if you started feeling sad? You'd be like, oh, I'm feeling sad, yes. And you'd be, because you're embracing your experience of that sadness changes, okay? That, is the goal of this type of work. It's like whatever's coming up, you're, you're just with it and experiencing it instead of, again, our mind interfering, judging, this is good, what does it mean, this is bad, stuff it down, so on and so forth. So it's like you're in this flow of things.